population of blacks. And so that was a that was the influence of black spiritual music. They call it Nick Lee spiritual music, but also the Dixieland and the jazz. And the forerunner of groups like the Ozark Mountain Daredevils, I mean, by the way, the Ozark Mountain Daredevils are hard to define as what they what kind of music they did, right? Country, folk, pop, and what else? Uh, just almost a little jazz. Blues. That's the word. And that's what the Ozarks is. I give credit to the Ozark Mountain Daredevils if for no other reason than being proud enough of where they were from to use that name Ozarks. And I, anything I can see that has Ozarks on it, I like. We love the name. I'm not trying to define Ozarks tonight. Most of you are scholars just as much as more than I am, so you know about Ozarks being Ark, Arkansas, and that somehow a mixture of Louisiana lingo and the French lingo and the Indian language, and somehow they came up with Ozarks in the 1805 era. The first uh, time that the word Ozark, Ozark, or Ozarks is used that I can find is about 1805. And that's four. Well, no, two years after the Louisiana Purchase. So in 1803, as the Louisiana Purchase, that's when this area, of course, became part of uh, the Americas, as we know it, as opposed to being French or Spanish or something, and stayed English from that point on, English language from that point on. So in 1803, the Louisiana Purchase took place, and in 1805, the word Ozark shows up for the first time. And it's interesting that uh, that became something that people must have liked because there was an Ozark County. There was an Ozark town. There was an Ozark township in Green County, and et cetera, et cetera. Point is, the word Ozark was something that the early people adopted very quickly. It went from being non-existent, there was no such word, to becoming something that was characteristic of a particular area. But then I, I don't want to lie to you. There's an Ozark Alabama. And the fact is, Ozark, Alabama is older than Ozark, Missouri. But Ozark, Alabama is not as old as the term Ozark in reference to the Ozark Township that existed in Greene County. Very close. <coughs> We're talking Ozark, Missouri was named in 1840. And I forget, but I think the Alabama Ozark Town, which of course is, is a city today, like Ozark, Missouri, I think it's like 1838, 1839. And by then, the other, some of these other Ozarks didn't exist. But the music, fiddle music, jazz, Dixieland, and of course, to some of us, the most important Ozarks music was the Gospels. I mentioned spiritual a moment ago, but uh, most people that became musicians as a profession practiced their craft at some point in church. Whatever their belief, whatever their real firm foundation may have been, the community church was the place to get together with other people of common interest and actually sit around or stand around and learn how to play their instruments. And uh, so the spiritual part is a very important part of Ozark's music. <clears throat> 